What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at should you be buying a Dell Optiplex in 2019 now this question comes up quite a bit and also there's a lot of youtubers that create content on these Dell Optiplexes uh, making them into retro gaming systems and also gaming PCs or just general uh, surfing the web type PCs as well so I thought I'd make a video to give you uh, the Good points and the bad points and also some of the options that you may have available to you so the Dell Optiplex has been around for a while now and uh, the 7010 is a very popular one for people to buy uh, and to convert it into a gaming system now there's lots of places that sell them um, the Tiger Direct sells them as you can see here all different variants which is the i3 the i7 and the i5 versions and also you can get them on Amazon, you can get them from Dell themselves and they're all refurbished as you can see here, Newegg sells them as well and they've all got different sort of prices, eBay and loads of other places that you can get them from. So what should you be looking out for? Well on Tiger Direct you can get, uh, which is an American company, if you're in the UK you're going to be looking elsewhere, uh, but basically grade A is, means that the structure of the outer case and the insides and everything else is a grade A quality which means it's got very little scratches on it and it's probably in really good condition for its age. Now they also will probably do grade B and probably grade C and so on. So have a look out for the grade quality on the refurbishment. Now don't get it all twisted with the refurbishment. Refurbishment doesn't mean they're going to be putting all new parts in there, they're just going to blow it out, clean it and clean up the outside of the case probably chuck in a bit more memory and uh, away you go some of them will add in SSDs now the thing to look out for is also the price the price varies all over the place but as you can see here this is a little sales tactic they put in here seven hundred and forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents well let me tell you well I can tell you right now that that is not worth seven hundred and forty nine pounds and hence they've just bumped the price up to make it look like it's a really good deal at that discount but you get 57 percent off and now you're only paying a price of 324.99 which I still think is quite a hefty price to pay for an old girl like this now remember this has been in some office somewhere and it's been running to probably 24 7 and it's had a pretty hard life already and they all they've done is give it a wipe down cleaned it up blew the dust out and uh, away you go and now they're selling them at 324.99 now these come on pallets we do rollouts at work and these rollouts are upgrading all the old systems and basically what that means is you then take the old ones away as part of the uh, rollout that you do for that company. Now these normally get palleted up, shrink wrapped or clean filmed, you might say in elsewhere in the world, and they would then be sold on to people that want to sell them. And what they will do is they get all the old rubbish ones, take the parts out of them and make some good ones and grade B and grade A and so on and sell all the other bits off separately. And they are quite willing to sit on it and claw money back from selling all these parts. Now you get a year's warranty with this, uh, but also you can see it's got an i5-3570, 16 gigabytes of RAM and two terabyte here. Uh, if you want to play games on this, you are going to need to put in probably a power supply and also a graphics card. Now whether you buy a second hand graphics card or you've got a brand new graphics card that you want to buy, it's entirely up to you. But again, just bearing in mind that this is already $324.99. This is going to start to bump this up uh, to a quite a considerable amount of money. As soon as you start putting a power supply in there and also putting a, a graphics card in there. And then also you're probably going to want to put an SSD in there to make it a lot faster. And then clone this Windows 10 Pro 64-bit over onto the new uh, solid state drive. So what do you get with your money once you've done all that? Well, you probably get less money in your wallet because it's going to cost you a few quid to do that. But is it worth doing it? In my personal opinion, I don't think it's worth doing anymore at that sort of price. What's happened is YouTube has been creating content, content creators on YouTube, make videos on this to make them into gaming systems, retro gaming systems and things like that. And this has driven the prices up. And of course, it makes it very difficult to try and find yourself a bargain. Now, if you can get one of these from a yard sale or something like that for 20 bucks or you got one line in your garage or something like that, then it's worth doing. But if you're paying this sort of money, 
then I would say it's not worth it because you could probably build one uh, for a pretty much same price if not cheaper. So let's take a look at some of the other options you've got. Well, the smaller form factors are a lot smaller, but they're a lot cheaper. Now there's the ultra small, small form factor and there's the small form factor. You just have to bear in mind the different sizes, okay? Now the small form factor is the one that I was working on on a YouTube video which I created. The thing is with those is you do have to bear in mind that you're gonna have limitations to what you can actually do uh, with these uh, types of systems, okay? They're, they're limited with the graphics card size and you're also limited with the power supply that it draws uh, in there. It's probably got a 250, 260 watt power supply maybe 270 something like that inside there which means it's its maximum capacity and when you start putting a 1050 ti in there which is probably about the maximum you'll be able to get in this sort of system you will be pushing it because those cards are recommended to have a 500 watt power supply you can get power supplies to swap out in these but they are not cheap and then that bumps the price up again so these people know that and what they're doing is very little to them if you look at say for instance uh, say Newegg, they've dropped a 250 gigabyte solid state drive in here. They've done a little bit of work to it by dropping these. These are probably a cheap uh, Chinese brand or something like that. They've bumped the uh, memory up to 12 gigabytes and they do very little to it. They don't put a graphics card in there and they don't do any of that stuff. And the reason why is because that will drive the price up and they will have to charge more. So basically they'll let you do that and then of course that's going to hit you in the pocket. So let's take a look at the PC builder part here and what we can get. So let's take a look at this build here. This is a Ryzen 3 1200 and this is £55.97. And, and of course you've got the B450 motherboard in here by uh, Asus, which is a really basic, I'm trying to keep it real basic here to try and keep the price down. Again, eight gigabytes of 2400 megahertz. I know Ryzen uses the faster speeds, but I'm trying to keep the price down. Eight gigabytes is enough for just getting a base system running. One terabyte, remember, this is all new stuff as well, not second hand. It hasn't had a hard life like some of those old systems, which they did when they built them in 2012. This is a brand new system. 1060, six gigabyte uh, jet stream palette graphics card here and also a brand new case which is from deep calls you can see here i've just picked the, a cheap case you can pick whatever case you like but again much nicer looking case than the one that you're getting with the older system so there's your options go through here just dropped in a little cheap power supply 80 plus certified now you're going to have to probably put in a power supply and a graphics card into one of these systems if you want to turn it into a gaming system so let's just assume that you go ahead and buy those two products there if you add those onto the price that's going to come to a total of 478 pounds now remember we haven't got an ssd in there yet we've just got uh, the graphics card and the power supply and that comes to 478 pounds and 87 pence the total of this machine comes brand new 443 pounds so already this is a cheaper deal by 40 what we got there 40 30 let's just say 30 pounds 35 pounds something like that around that sort of ballpark okay now what are the differences in specs when we look at the uh, performance so if we look at the performance here this is the performance difference between the Ryzen 3 1200 and the i5-3570 there's not much difference and the difference is that this is old and this is new and there's not a lot of difference in the performance okay you may say be saying to me oh well there's a bit of a difference here this overhaul would be probably okay on a single core probably outdo the Ryzen 3 1200 on a single core but on the multi-threading this will probably be a better multi-threading or multitasking type CPU because this has four cores, four threads, and the Ryzen 3 1200 has four cores, eight threads, and that's what you've got there. So let's take a look at some of the other options you may have. Well, what about if you went with the 1400, the Ryzen 5 1400? Now remember, these are first-generation Ryzen's 
but they are still viable when you're putting them up against an old girl like we've just done there. I've not changed any of the specs here and that comes in at £486. That is still in near enough where this is here. Okay, this one is slightly cheaper, but it's only by a few pounds, a couple of pounds. But now you're talking a different kettle of fish because the 1400 outperforms that processor right there and it's all brand new. So let's take a look at that option there. So we can see now the Ryzen 5 1400 compared to the 3570. You come down here, you've got eight meg cache, six meg uh, cache, four cores, hyperthreading, yes, hyperthreading, no, overclocking, yes, overclocking, no. So now we can even overclock this and we can start pushing this and it will smash that i5 old 3570 no problems whatsoever so as you go through here you can see the general uh, setup of this you can see the performance here this is a single core it outperforms it on the single core and it also outperforms it on the 64 bit and also outperforms it on uh, the other it that won't do it on that because obviously the uh, GPU but it will do when you put the card in it so Let's take a look here at the single core here. Multi core, you can see once it starts getting into that multi core, it starts burying that uh, CPU. And this will start to bottleneck when you start putting cards in there because it will be running on a slower um, slot. You know, so basically, what you're getting with the modern day system is upgradability, much better performance, and it's not going to cost you a lot. A lot of people don't tell you that on YouTube because they're content creators and they're just creating content that's interesting to a lot of people. But depending whether you're doing it as a project or you're doing it for, uh, you know, for a system, if it's for a main system and you're spending money, do not buy them at that price. It's not worth it. If you can get them for 20 bucks or you can get them given to you for free, then it's still a viable project to do. But just bearing in mind, if you've got a card line around or you get one second hand and you get it cheap, it's still worth doing. But to a degree, once you start spending money, it becomes a bit pointless in 2019. Now, there is the Ryzen 2600. Now you're jumping up the food chain and it will really make a big, massive difference. And the price difference here is not vast amounts of money that people may be thinking. The same specs a system with a 2600 is only 525 compared to 478 pounds. So penny wise pound foolish is some people but you know uh, you know it's just for me it, you might as well just you might as well just go and, and and buy this and go ahead with the 2600 spend a couple of extra quid and it will smash that all over the place this is a, a six core uh, processor it's a very powerful processor and it's modern day okay you will need to probably get some bit of more ram in here because this has only got one eight gig stick of DDR 2400 but to be honest and it ain't running on dual channel if you wanted to do that you could get two four gigabyte sticks if you wanted to really push that sort of uh, difference there so let's go ahead and do that so now I've just changed the um, memory here to this one here which is two four gigabyte sticks at 3000 and this will then obviously push the price up an extra 20 quid but it's well worth doing in my personal opinion you can see here that's 456 for the 1200 and if I did that with the other ones it would be uh, better a much better memory for that and you could do that on the other systems as well now again it's entirely up to you what you do but if you want to even go down the route of not buying a GPU you can always buy the Ryzen 5 2400 G and even then that's a Ryzen 5 processor it will probably outperform uh, that old i5 there if you look at where it's at line here you can see it's in the realms of it beats the i7 3770 so it's going to beat that i5 so that's where you've got to look at guys it's the where it is on the leaderboard compared to some of the uh, older chips which you're looking at there so on a closing thought, would I go for this machine right here at this price point? No, it's too expensive. And the reason why I say that is because, and this is nothing against Tiger Direct, this is just basically 
a price that you can go you may be able to find it cheaper but it's pretty much been driven up by supply and demand and a lot of people want them because they're watching youtube videos but there is better deals out there building your own brand new with new parts and everything else you got warranty new parts upgradability much more powerful it's a no-brainer really so unless you're getting this for free for a little project then yeah go for it but to be honest other than that i'd steer clear of it and get yourself something new because this is at its life already this is old as the eels and i would definitely not waste my money on that system anyway that's going to be about it for this video guys my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you want to jump on discord for a chat you can do i'll leave the link in the video description also the link to the new merchandise store which i set up for you guys uh, people have been buying it so uh, take a look at on there there's some cool stuff on there uh, i'm a bit restricted but the pricing is not a lot i can do it's to do with teespring so i'll have a look at uh, ways of trying to bring that pricing down for you in the future but other than that have a great weekend and i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.